everybody, today we decided to try something new. We were craving for pancit palabok, so we ordered Aling Tonang's pancit palabok. This is a third generation pancitaria, uh, started in 1971, based out of Boni in Mandaluyo. So we ordered. Ding, 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 ding. Pancit Palabok in Bilao. This is uh, good for 10 people, supposed to be. And this is a, I think it's 12 inches in terms of diameter. So that's quite a hefty serving of Palabok. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's some calamansi. And this for only uh, 350 pesos, which is pretty damn cheap to feed. 10 people, means like 35 pesos per person, less than a dollar. Okay, so, Pancit Palabok is a Filipino noodle dish made with rice noodles, very thin rice noodles called sotancon. And the sauce base is shrimp and pork, uh, garlic and onions. We we'll use a shrimp and pork broth, a little bit of ground pork in there. And it's topped off with shrimps and eggs. Oh wow, look at that. That is a massive serving. Give me a spoon, hold on a second here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna dig in, guys. It's quite saucy. I like saucy panabok. It's also known as Pancit Luglug in some restaurants. I think this was like the very first Filipino noodle dish I ate as a kid at Via Mare. Okay, a little bit of this egg on top. We are. Okay, so it's quite easy. Okay, let's do some calamansi on top. It's very aromatic even from this distance. I really smell uh, that shrimps broth. Okay, I'm gonna dig in. Give it an egg. Wow, that is so rich and flavorful. This is like way better than Jolly Bee's Pancit Palabo. I don't understand why they've been in business for almost. 50 years, actually 50 years. That's pretty impressive. Wow, this is one of the best uh, pancit palaboks I've ever eaten. It's so savory. And the sotanon noodles still have a little bit of a bite to them as they slither down your throat. Oh, this is highly addictive. I'm so glad I ordered this. Well, I think we'll be able to finish that today. And then we also ordered their Pichi Pichi. So it's kind of like Amber's that they also have, Pichi Pichi. Interesting that it's kind of like a buko pandan Pichi Pichi uh, with cheese. This I think was like 80 pesos. Also quite reasonable, the price. Let me try this now. Ooh. Wow, I've never tried a buko pandan flavored pichi pichi. That is also quite good. Just as good as Amber's, but I really like this uh, buko pandan flavor. It's very refreshing. I do wish though there was more cheese on top. It's family palabok time. Uh, family fiesta. I think it's essential for Palabansi. That's the acidity. Really? Not even just half medium. Too saucy. It's too saucy. That's good. Saucy is better than plain. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. So it's more tasty. I want to learn how to cook for Interesting if it takes a lot of time. Mm. I think not too long. You gotta have all those ingredients. So you taste the smokiness of the tinapa flakes yeah. on top as well. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of chicharron as well. I see chicharron here. 
But is it last noodles, right? Yeah, it is. What did oh. you put in the... How do you call this again? Hmm? What did you put in here? Nothing, but we ordered that. You can add calamansi. Where is it from? It's from Aling Tonans, Pancit Palabok. Mm -hmm. This one? Mm -hmm. Already on my third <laughs> serving. Alexandra's digging in. Aksala, what can you say about this palabok? It's tasty, very really nice, not overcooked noodles. Bouncing. So it's very flavorful. And I like that it's not dry, that it's so sweet. Even from my first cook. I think it's great value for money and you really get Too much sauce. this full palabok flavor. And I think we already practically demolished half of it, so that's easily going to be consumed today. So, if you haven't tried it yet, please try Ale Tonang's Pancit Palabok. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to T. Burgos, Makati, the red light district before the pandemic ever started. Join us for a walking tour of Makati's famed red light district.